and welcome back to Cut the Crackle. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Bricklink Wild West Saloon. This set was produced as part of the Athol designer program rather than by LEGO themselves. If you've been watching my Throwback Thursday series looking back at the LEGO Lone Ranger theme, you'll know I am a big fan of LEGO Western, so back in this project was a no-brainer. It's been a bit of a wait, but it's finally here and I can't wait to get stuck in. Let's take a look inside. Here it is all built up and oh my, is this thing gorgeous. I knew it was going to be pretty from the photos, but there's always that chance that something won't look quite as good in person. No worry of that here, this looks even better than I'd hoped. The front of this building has so much layered texture, it really is stunning. Now, whilst it doesn't come with any minifigures, you do get a Lego horse, although strangely, she's missing a saddle piece. I love this little wild carrot build. Could have just used the existing carrot piece, but I'm glad they didn't because this is just really creative. Above the porch, you have another creative build for this skull and horns decoration. And back here, we have the twin saloon doors, which... Oh, damn. <laughs> and that one. Yeah. This is a little bit of a recurrent issue with this set. It looks fantastic, but it is a bit lacking in structural integrity. Take these posts up here on the balcony. Love the use of the ice cream topper here, but just give either one a little push. When putting this thing together, there were a few places where I thought of just simple changes that would strengthen the build. But I decided to hold off on changing anything so that I could give it a proper review. One bit I did instinctively change was this cactus here. If I take off this arm a second. You can see that the plates on the sides are alternated so they overlap. But in the instructions, this actually had them all the same all the way around and just a bit of pressure will break it apart. If we move inside the saloon you can see the interior is just as pretty as the front. There's a really nice bar to the left with some interesting combination of small pieces to make the various bottles on the back shelves. Next to that is a log burner build which has a chimney that continues onto the exterior of the saloon. It uses two of the frog pieces in gold for these ornate legs. Whilst the chimney pipe itself is a little out of line when you move from the inside to the outside, there's actually two studs to choose from to attach to, but neither is exactly in line, though it doesn't bother me that much. In the centre of the room we have a couple of easy chairs around a small round table. The chairs are another great example of creative mini builds. The black paddle pieces on the sides look like the legs but in reality the chairs connect via this hidden round 2x2 two two plate on the underside. Whilst there are a couple of these fairly new lamp pieces that were introduced last year with the Harry Potter sets, there is also a neat little build for a different lamp on this table. I'm not as keen on the table itself though, it just looks a bit too sci-fi for me and sticks out in this old west setting. Right at the back is an excellent old grand piano construction and if I move the stool out of the way, oops, I just took a plate with it, but anyway you can see this Mixos piece in gold is used for the piano's pedals. Upstairs a balcony overlooks the first floor of the saloon and off to the left is a set of drawers with a printed envelope. There's a hanging chandelier and if I take that away you can see a printed tile of a picture of an older man in a smart suit. I think this first came with the Creator Expert Bank set. I do like the effort to add a bit of decoration but 
Personally, I just don't think this picture really works. It looks a little too modern. Up on the roof, there is a single wooden chest which contains that most precious of treasures, a spoon. I'm absolutely in love with how this floor is tiled off with dark and reddish brown tiles, but as good looking as this set is, I think it needs some minifigures to really bring it to life. Getting this set has reinforced my love for LEGO Western, and as this was the second most supported project in the contest, I really hope LEGO take notice and bring the theme back in some form. There are a few structural issues, but no illegal building techniques that I'm aware of. I would definitely recommend a little modification to make this a bit more secure, and of course you need to add some minifigures yourself, but for any Wild West LEGO fan, this is a must have. What do you think of the Bricklink Wild West Saloon? Let me know in the comments below, don't forget to like, and as always, if you haven't already, be a hero and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time, laters.